Welcome to Not Classic Game Room, which is not broadcasting from the Intergalactic Space Arcade, and it is not 2085, it is 2023, and a gift from me to you is a review of a book called How to Make a Video Game Review Show That Doesn't Suck by Mark Bussler of Classic Game Room. If you're on a quest to find a book on how to make a bad video game review show, well, unfortunately, your quest is never ending because this book is definitely not Jar Jar. In fact, this book is pretty Lando. Well, unfortunately, we will have to look at this in tabletop mode because unfortunately this was not playing too well with my Nintendo Switch dock. So we'll have to do this the old fashioned way, but let's take a look at the book itself. Obviously on the front we have Uncle Mark enjoying some potential adult VR content from the giant grin on his face and the placement of his hands. Definitely enjoying something that I'm probably jealous of. And on the back, learn how to make video game reviews, post them online, market, promote, monetize, and have a good time. And that's really what this book is all about. It's meant to be a primer to get people up to speed on video production so that they can enjoy this creative outlet of content creation through the modern medium of video production. And looking at the physical aspect of this book, it's about the size of a magazine, and it's about as thick as one too. So you might think to yourself, well wait a minute, that doesn't seem like a whole lot of book for the money. Nick, you paid 22 bucks for this book. Did you get through it in a day? And to answer that is, well yeah, I did. But I don't think this book is really best read like a novel. I think this book is best read as a referential manual for certain topics, and we'll get into that. But first, I want to show you the table of contents of this book. Now because of fair use, I can't show everything in this book, I can only show enough to help illustrate points. So there are some things I definitely want to highlight, and the first thing I want to show you is the table of contents, and I think this will be the most important thing to show you because you can pause the video and read everything, but also it should give you a taste as to what to expect from this book and what this book is really all about. You'll see things like the forward by Mark Bustler and the classic game room story. But I want to definitely emphasize that if you want to buy this book just to learn more about Classic Game Room, there is nothing in this book that Mark hasn't said in interviews online, and you're not going to learn anything dirty, there's no tell-all or anything, so if you're someone who wants to buy this book just as a fan, this might be a little disappointing to you. Where I think this book really shines, and what you'll glean from looking at all of the subjects in the book, is it shines as a referential book and a startup guide for people who have no video production experience whatsoever. It shines in the way of if you're someone who doesn't know how to get going on YouTube and you want the opinions and experiences and knowledge of someone who has made it to the mountaintop on YouTube, who has made it into a financially lucrative and successful business, then this is definitely the book for you. If you're someone who's never picked up a camera, who doesn't know what a capture card is, who has no idea how to record footage or audio or anything, then this is the perfect book for you. It is chock full of information, perspectives, fun stories, and the best thing I like about this book is how authentically to mark it is. It's his book. You could read this book and hear his voice in your head because everything he says on, in it is completely his own words. So you know you're going to get an authentic retelling of the experiences based on his own personal experiences from doing Classic Game Room. Now you might say, well Nick, all this information is probably available online for free. Why should I buy this book? Well, it's true. A lot of this information is available online, but what you're not gonna be able to get from a YouTube video is the personal recollection and perspective of the experiences of the guy who made the videos himself. He goes over things like getting started, but also what to do once the ball starts getting rolling. So if you've ever gone into the idea of wanting to make merchandise or wanting to do crowdfunding, he even talks about other platforms like podcasting and Twitch and offers his opinions and experiences on those. And I think, again, that's where this book really shines. It's a great startup guide for people who just want to dive into video production and content creation, but just have no experience whatsoever. I will say, if you are someone who's made a bunch of YouTube videos and you have a workflow and you have an idea of what you want to do for yourself, 
you're definitely not going to get as much out of this book as someone who's just starting out. But I still think there definitely is enough here, perspective-wise and information-wise, to have a really good, solid piece of reference material. With that being said, I would definitely recommend this book. I think it's a lot of fun. And of course, there is Truxton art in it, which makes it an automatic 25 out of 10. But jokes aside, I think it's an excellent book. I think it's worth the money if you're absolutely new. I wish I had this book starting out. I think it's a fantastic resource. I think it's a great startup guide. And I think it's an overall fun read. So if you like video production, and if you just like getting perspectives from YouTubers in general about how their stuff is made, or if you just want to make videos like Classic Game Room, I think this is definitely worth checking out. It's a good read. Take a look at it.